Hello, welcome. So let's do another story. Yeah. Pythagoras, can you please help me come up with a really good story today to help everyone understand what is going on in the world? And what shall we know? These ones came out. So, <laughs> interesting. Okay, so we have this man whose fortune is being told. We also have the scythe, the assaults, and the new beginnings, change of residence, the crossroads, the owls the man and the key so this man has the key right here it looks like he also has this sky though when you're a coffin okay so we have this key to death perhaps right key to death we have the owls wisdom eventually this wisdom is going to come into this crossroads and they're going to have to choose change of residence. Are they going to follow along what this man is saying and thinking he has the key to death? Or is she going to let him assault her and threaten her? So let's pull some more cards here. Okay, here's our lady here, Wisdom. We have the heart and we have her, her. We have the writer and the whip. Ooh, suffering woman, young visitor. Let's see what else we have here. Move these this way. The man with the key to death, huh? <laughs> Let's see how well he can tame that key then, huh? So we do have this woman here, another woman, who is suffering, and a visitor. This visitor is coming to see this woman. Perhaps a, um, this woman is, did I not put the card in? Perhaps this woman is the one he thinks is going to give him the key to death, this suffering woman. And because she's in this suffering state, he thinks that he can... I didn't put the card. Guys, I didn't put it in. <laughs> Let's do that now. Okay. <laughs> 
So because she is a suffering woman, she's suffering right now, um, we have this uh, crossroads that she's at with this new beginnings or these assaults. And he thinks that death is a suffering woman. That's what he thinks. He thinks she's a suffering woman. And he thinks that the only way he's going to open up her key and unlock her treasures of power is if he assaults her or gives her a home, right? <laughs> okay, so we have the, bo uh, the bouquet of flowers and we have the... A mystery affecting the person for the better. So we have this 22 card right here. And we also have this one is a 22 card as well. This one right here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me change this. Much better, right? Okay. So we have this 22 card right here. And we also have this 22 card. So this mystery, this crossroad she had, is going to... Um, be for the better of her. We also have this bouquet. Let's we have this seven right here and this seven. So let's you know put the bouquet over <laughs> the assaults and the threats, right? Because she's going to be happy. She's going to have extraordinary honor and fame. So we're gonna keep that there. Let's pull some more to explain this. But so far it's looking like this man is thinking that this suffering woman he's gonna ride upon his horse come in and save her because she is suffering right now the key is suffering that's what he thinks and she is death and with death death is also life she is life and death you cannot have one without the other in a being there must be both. There must be a way to recycle. There must be a way to gather in and to let go. So this woman is life and death. And he thinks because she's suffering, he's going to be able to come in and give her this. This change of residence, happiness. Otherwise, what's he going to do if he doesn't get his way? He's going to threaten her. Why is he doing this? So we have this documents, correspondence. Maybe he's going to come in with some kind of documents and correspondence. And we also have this sign energy, the stars. So let's look at our numbers here. What do we have? We do have this letter, these messages that are coming in. This is this crosser. This is him riding upon his horse into this message and giving her this message. The stars is where she's headed, you know. That's where she's going. That's why he wants to do this to her. He feels the only way he's ever going to make it to the stars is if he comes in with these flowers and these new beginnings or if he assaults her, you know. But this mystery is going to affect her for the better. So let's pull some more cards here. Do I put my spade on in? see what else he's up to and how this is all going to turn out perhaps um, what else do we need to know about this okay. we have the key again Ooh, and the grave so she is death you guys that's what she is okay so we have um, I seen an 11 yes it's 11 right here this suffering woman is an 11 and these crossroads are 22 so we have this suffering woman is an 11 energy and she's going to at this crossroads when she comes to this crossroads she's automatically going to have the key Wait when, wait when she meets these crossroads right here. She's going to come into her highest energy, her highest self right there. So these crossroads that she's at, when she does finally get um, the writer to appear, she's going to know in that moment what to do and why it's all happening, right? We have another key here, if you can see that. And we have a home as well. And the sun. And we have another writer. Sorry. 
let's pour some in. So maybe he's going to come in with some kind of letter, a message, and maybe a proposal or an offering for her, this 27 letter energy. Maybe he's going to write her a letter and see if that's good enough, you know? And then if it's not, then he's going to come in and assault her and try to get his way that way. Oh, so we have a more. Someone is looking at you with great love and longing. And then the mountains, a mighty enemy. So yes, he's an enemy here, but he's also looking at her with love because she's deaf and he wants that, you know? He wants all of that. So we do have this 4-2 energy, 4-2, um, and then we have a 1, so she's thinking about herself when it comes to this. She's thinking what is, you know, about her own heart, this 24 right here. She's thinking about her own heart. That's what she's doing. So she's going to choose her own path and see what resonates with her the most. You know, he can look at her like this, you know, all this admiration because of who she is. But if he comes in like this, you know, with this aggressive energy, if this doesn't work out, you know, try, try again, right? Don't just start assaulting the woman. You never know what might happen if that goes there. <laughs> So we have this 2737, I believe. Do we have a 10 around here? Let's see. Um, 10, 10, 10. Here's our 10. So if he tries to come in and assault her, he's going to die. <laughs> I mean, she is death, you know, so she could do that. So if he comes in with this 37 energy from this message, if he goes right into this assault, this 10, this is your, this is what's going to happen to him if he does that. He's going to have an early death, disappointment. Um, so that looks like our story right there. Um, so whoever is trying to court death, I suggest you do it wisely and very respectfully. I suggest that when you come in and speak to her, you have the most utmost respect and for yourself and for her because of what she is. Okay? That's our story there. Bye-bye.